Have you ever imagined how it feels being confined to your home and not able to directly see or feel the world outside for many years? The guy on the slide is my friend in Indonesia. His name is Vino and he has a severe physical disability just like me. Why a guy like Vino and many other people with profound disabilities in Indonesia are still not able to enjoy their basic human rights such as going to school, using public transport, having recreational activities, and many other things that we might take for granted here. Is it because of their impairments? Not necessarily. They have been facing such discrimination all their life, partly because the government has yet to systematically include disability rights and needs into their development policies and programs. For example, when the government built public infrastructure or public transport system, they did not plan nor did they allocate the budget to meet the special needs of people like Vino, let alone talking to people with disabilities about what they need. The importance of disability rights mainstreaming by government has been emphasized in several studies, but none has investigated the specific mechanism to achieve this, particularly in the global south. My research, which is a multi-method applied policy study utilizing qualitative design, aims to investigate the potential of disability inclusive budgeting for realizing the rights of persons with disabilities in Indonesia. In other words, I'm looking at how the government can engage people with disabilities to participate actively in development planning and budgeting processes in Indonesia. Their active engagement will be both at the national ministry programs and those of the local governments. The findings of my research will not only be able to help the Indonesian government to improve their disability policy from disempowering heavy focus on social welfare to the rights-based approach, but also to enable people with disabilities as active citizens to influence the government policies to be more responsive of their rights and needs. So our friend Vino on the slide will be able to tell the government what he really needs and how the government can fulfill his rights better. People with disabilities are not supposed to be weak and passive citizens they can become the agent of change and development. Thank you.